going to take a straddle position with your toes pointing forward. With a med ball or a textbook or any heavy object, this is about six pounds, you're going to go into a fake chop position. So it's going to start on one ear, it's going to end up on the opposite hip. You're going to exhale and chop quickly into the lunge position. Reset, back up to the ear. Make sure you're exhaling yourself into the lunge, pushing out of the lunge with that foot. When you go into it, make sure that this foot is at least unloaded, doesn't have to roll off the outer edge. It can stay planted, but make sure all of your weight is on this side. What I mean by that is we should see nose over breastbone, over hip, over knee, over toe, with the toe pointing forward. This means that you're fully loaded on one side. From the back, this means you're gonna have this hip appear higher and further back than the other hip. If you are here, if you are here, then it's possible that the stance is too wide that you're not able to get over, or we just need a little bit of assistance to keep shifting you over. If that is the case, what you can do is use a slant board or a wedge and do the same exercise. You would start with one foot on the slant board with the ball from the opposite ear. Go into it, hold, and then reset. The slant board doesn't have to be very high at all, just a small wedge to allow you access into the inside edge of the foot. Still the same exercise from the opposite ear, going into it, holding the position for a count, pushing out of that with the foot.